Welcome to Gadget Guide USA. Thanks for watching my product review and unboxing of an NFC ring. Uh, it was shipped to me by John McClear. Uh, it just called me an ambassador and uh, basically I haven't opened. The only thing I do is kind of, you know, scratch my personal information off of here. Uh, it was obviously shipped from the UK with the Royal Mail signature. Uh, the customs declaration says it's a mobile phone accessory, so of course we like that. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and pry this open here. It comes with a thank you card, the actual ring. That's it. We'll go ahead and get rid of the packaging. I guess it's not important. It looks like it got here in great shape. Uh, these are definitely, okay, these are uh, two NFC tags, I guess. They'll be programmable uh, in some way. I'm going to go ahead and toss them. It says, thank you. This ring is codenamed Horizon. Uh, it gives me a press kit address included in the packages 1, 2016, and two ring stickers. So it looks like everything got here. Uh, and it says John at NFC ring. And like I said, it's John McClear. Uh, as everybody knows, I recently did a review of a, of a, of a, another NFC ring. Uh, so of course I was sent to this and I'm going to go ahead and open it now. Uh, Codename Horizon gives you NFC ring. I have no clue what all that means. It probably no battery, uh, unlocks things, works with your phone, waterproof. Uh, that is a universal symbol. I should know what it means, uh, but I don't. So get rid of it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open up the box here. Uh, if I can get it open. And all right, we got some more toys in here. Looks like we got some uh, symbols. I don't know if those are actually NFC ring or NFC tags or not. I doubt it. Uh, they're pretty tiny. Uh, we have a manual here, and here's the ring. Uh, looks very futuristic. Uh, looks like it has uh, two NFC parts. It looks like this is a separate one from this. Uh, so let's see. Up, oh, doesn't fit. It's going to be a pinky ring on me. Uh, but okay, as we can see, basically it, uh, you can code it by hand gestures. You know, your inside is going to be something different than your outside. Uh, it comes in this nice box here. It looks like uh, the box will fit many size rings. Uh, they didn't request my ring size, so I guess they just sent me like a standard model. Uh, we'll go over and it says contents, quick start guide, uh, the NFC ring app. That's the thing I'm most excited about this. And then I'm going to go, go ahead and install it on an international LG G3 I have. Uh, ensure NFC is available on your device. Uh, and we're just going to go over some of that. Uh, and it gives you some example uses. You can share your Twitter, Facebook, YouTube addresses, unlock your Android phone or tablet. Uh, it looks like uh, the ring that I uh, interviewed or reviewed before, I believe it was a timer ring. Uh, it looks like it can do, they're pretty much the exact same with the exception of the being able to unlock your Android phone or tablet. Uh, with the other ring, the only th way that you could unlock your phone or tablet is if you had your Android rooted. Uh, and I did not in that case or for the review. And it says you can unlock your door. I actually do have an NFC door, so I'm going to go ahead and try that. And I guess that is the unboxing. Uh, you can see it here. The ring is actually looks pretty cool, especially has some geekiness look to it. Uh, and then I guess the next step of this is going to go ahead and... Oh, I missed that. There's the NFC I-ring is what it says on the inside loop there. Uh, so it does look pretty cool, and uh, we'll follow this up with an actual product review after I install the app on my LG G3, uh, and we get to play with it a little bit. And we are back. Uh, I've had a chance to really dig into uh, the authentic NFC ring by John McClear. Uh, as you can see, it's seen pictured here. I've kind of already showed it to you. Uh, I've had a really chance to, to dig in mainly to, the, to, to what the ring can do. Uh, what these stickers are for, which actually, I, they're not actually NFC tags, uh, they're just little markers so you can place them on your phone uh, so you know where the sweet spot for the NFC ring is, is because you kind of got to get a little close. Uh, so, uh, so basically that's what those are for. I really don't have any use for them. Uh, these two things are NFC tags and you can code them to whatever you want to do with NFC. Uh, I'm not actually going to use those for my ring. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put one in my car so that when I stand in my car I can actually r hover my phone over that and it'll set it to uh, car mode. Uh, the other one I haven't figured out a use yet. We're going to go ahead and turn on and this is one of the big deals. This is one of the reasons I wanted the John McClear, the authentic NFC ring. Uh, is so I could actually get this app. Uh, I, of course, have a Cheatronic uh, NFC ring, uh, which is very similar. I mean, you can kind of see here. I mean, they're big. They're different ring sizes, so keep that in mind. Uh, they're similar bands. Uh, I think the, the John McClear ring is a little bit more stylish. This is the NFC one, uh, and the back one on the Cheatronic has nothing, and this one kind of has like a black box. Uh, one of the things about the Cheatronic ring is that if you purchase one of these, they're quite a bit cheaper, about half the price. Uh, but if you purchase one of these, you do not get access uh, to the John McClear tag writing, tag writing app. Uh, you actually can use uh, the Ring app. 
which I'm going to go ahead and show you here. Uh, but in order to, if you just buy the Cheatronic, uh, when you try to register and use the ring, it'll keep asking you to verify over and over. And if you try to use this ring to verify, it'll say, this is not an uh, authentic NFC ring. Uh, so essentially, now that I've actually have the authentic NFC ring here, uh, I can use my Cheatronic to unlock the phone as well. You can just set it up in the options. Uh, so this is NFC Ring Control. Uh, this is their official app in order to write whatever you want to rings. Like uh, you can click Create, and then I'm going to create uh, a link, and then you can write whatever the link you want. Um, we'll say Swagway.com. Uh, and then you can you can basically set it to whatever you want. Say if you want to set it to your you know your Facebook homepage, you can save that on the ring. You can save that on the card. Uh, and if anybody's like, oh, you know, uh, what's your YouTube address? You know, you can actually save that in the ring and tap it on their phone, and it'll open right up to YouTube, which is a really neat thing. Uh, unfortunately, I really don't like the NFC Ring Control app. Uh, I prefer to use Samsung Tactiles. Uh, the NFC ring, this would be a little bit better for a beginner. If you've never used NFC before, you might want to start with the NFC ring app. Uh, but this just doesn't give you as many options as the Samsung Tactiles. Uh, so even though I do have this app, and if I was going to like uh, bring somebody uninitiated to the NFC world, I would definitely recommend this app. But once you get into a heavy user, I'm definitely going to recommend you switch over to like Samsung Tactiles or some other slightly harder to use but with more options type uh, application. Uh, and this is for Android. I would guess it's also available for iOS. I didn't look. I probably should have. Uh, but it works great on my LG G3. Overall, I have, you know, no real complaints about the NFC ring control. I just like Samsung Tactiles better. Uh, the biggest thing about getting the John McClear ring here was being able to register and use this ring unlock. Uh, I did, however, find out that even if you don't register, you can still use the Cheatronic ring. It just bugs you every 10 seconds to verify. Please verify. Please verify. So, I mean, if you do have... Uh, you know, some other NFC ring or you just want to use NFC tags and you want to use the NFC ring unlock app, unlock app you can. Uh, it's just going to really irritate you with all the verification reminders. So we have that lock there and we're just going to go ahead and unlock it now and that's the biggest deal. Uh, the only downside to using the unlock app is the fact is you have to turn your home screen lock off. Uh, so if you have, you know, one of the nine digits where you scroll through or even a swipe, uh, once that activates, it will no longer accept NFC. So in order to use this as a real security device, you have to turn off the original screen, uh, you know, the original screen guard. And now the only protection you have is this NFC ring. Uh, in addition to the NFC ring, let's say you lose your ring, and I mean, nobody wants to, uh, but it also has a pin code. I've set mine temporarily to... One, two, three, four. And I mean, it works fine. So even if you lose your ring, uh, you can use your pin code and you can get a another ring. You can get another John McClear ring uh, or you could get, say, a Cheatronic ring. Uh, and they would both work fine with the app. Like I said, though, if you don't ever verify it, if you don't ever buy an official ring, it'll just irritate you to death with verifications. Uh, there is quite a few settings. I mean, uh, the ring unlock is solid all the way around. I definitely like that. Uh, it has plenty of... Uh, Plenty of options, failed unlock count, unlock timeout. So if somebody tries to unlock your thing, you know, it'll lock them out for a certain amount of time. Uh, and you can actually manage the call behavior. So if you want to set it so you can answer calls while the NFC is engaged or not answer calls. I mean, so it definitely does uh, have quite a few options. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, it definitely looks better than what I think the Cheatronic is, uh, but it also costs twice as much. Uh, so it really depends on what you want. If you just want something to unlock your phone uh, and do it simply, I'd probably recommend the John McClear ring. Uh, however, if you're just looking for something to say open like an NFC door, uh, you know, and it doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to have that same style, uh, then I would definitely have no problem with the Geetronic. Uh, but the ring unlock app is definitely worth the extra 15 bucks or whatever it is. I mean, and it comes with the two NFC tags. Uh, so at the end of the day, the John McClear ring, it looks nice. It's just uh, simply a slightly more stylish, a slightly more active. One thing I do want to mention is that the John McClear ring has 888 kilobytes of memory, where this has like 18 or something. So this does have, it has more far-reaching features. Unfortunately, I just can't figure out a way to use all that space. Uh, so at the end of the day, a very solid product. I'm very happy with it. I'm glad I got it. This is going to be my go-to. Uh, however, having the secondary Cheatronic that still unlocks my phone, it's almost like having a spare key. Uh, so at the end of the day, uh, neither one of them are bad deals. If you want to be able to unlock your phone uh, without being irritated, 
go ahead and pay, pay double for the John McClear ring. Uh, if you just, if you don't mind having a verification irritation all the time, uh, then just go ahead and pick up one of these cheap ones. They are relatively cheap. Where the Ring app is pretty cool. I do like the fact that I can lock my phone with the, with and unlock it only with my NFC ring. It kind of gives me that warm fuzzy, I'm a true geek feeling. Uh, so at the end of the day, the John McClear authentic NFC ring is definitely a solid product. It looks cool, does everything you want it to. Oh, uh, by the way, I did practice, I have tested both these. I have an NFC door. Uh, they both work great once you save them. Uh, so at the end of the day, solid product. Uh, definitely a thumbs up from the Gadget Guide. I hope you enjoyed my product review today. Comments are always welcome at the bottom of the page. Subscriptions are always appreciated. Thank you. And if you have any specific questions, comments, or suggestions, please email me at gadgetguideusa at gmail.com. Thank you for your time.